and they did just announce Blackwell. Jensen Huang saying it's not a chip, it's the name of a platform. The chip is the GH100, 208 billion transistors here. Uh, talking about how with the need for larger models, they also need bigger GPUs. And I believe we've got our Christina Parts Nevelis. Not yet? Okay, There's a, we, we're going <laughs> to let you hear well, what he said. Here's Jensen Huang. I would like to introduce you to a very, very big GPU. <laughs> Named after David Blackwell, a mathematician, game theorist, probability. We thought it was a perfect, per, per, perfect name. Blackwell, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy this. All right, comparing Blackwell to Hopper, which came before Christina Parks and uh, How important is this? to uh, not just NVIDIA's plans, but the whole industry growing up around AI. This particular platform, the Blackwell, is very important because of the efficiency and how much power processing it can provide at a lower uh, power rate. So I should say that they are going to deliver with this new GPU chip, Blackwell. It's going to deliver four times the training performance of the H100. So that was the previous architecture that you just mentioned. It's the chip we constantly talk about. It's the chip that has been in shortage and it costs anywhere between 15 and 20,000. So this new architecture, which was largely expected today, should be four times the training performance and also claims to be 25 times lower in energy use. Hmm. They're going to not provide specific details on the launch date, but we should expect a, a launch for later this year. Additionally, they did name drop uh, a few partnerships on stage uh, just at the beginning of the conversation. Jensen Wong, I should say. He mentioned Ansys, Synopsys, TSMC, and Cadence, all of them working together on their AI system. So again, the newsiest thing right now is this largely anticipated Blackwell infrastructure. It's going to provide a new GPU chip uh, launched later this year, and it's supposed to be uh, providing a lot more power and more uh, processing power, I should say, but way more energy efficient than the previous generation.